Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. If this getup looks very familiar to you, you probably saw my video last week on dolls that I don't want. This is the kind of follow up to that. I did want to just film it all the same day because like I'm already dressed and everything, already talking, already heated about different dolls, so I might as well keep that energy going. But I did want to split it up into two videos so that it wasn't super, super long and irritating for you guys. So this is the next installment of the Dolls I Don't Want series. If you didn't see that video or any of the other videos I've done like this, it's just a series that I do on this channel where I talk about all the dolls that have come out recently that I don't plan on buying. I tend to make review videos for the dolls that I do want to buy or that I do like, but if I don't like a doll, I have to have somewhere to get my opinions out because I have opinions on literally everything and that's what this series is for. So the disclaimer with that is this is just my opinion. It's not a big deal if we disagree and like if I'm not going to buy a doll that means there's one more out there for you to snatch up. So like it's all good. <laughs> but with that being said we are only tackling one brand this video because there are so many to talk about and that is going to be Monster High. So let's get into it. Okay, so I guess I'm just in a mood to upset myself today because I'm going to start off with the one that makes me the most disappointed, and that is the Haunt Couture dolls. So the Haunt Couture Cleo, that's the one that really, really hurts. I've talked about this in a couple different videos and on a couple different platforms now, so like, just get past this if I'm boring you. Uh, but I did try to get this doll and was wildly unsuccessful because Mattel has a terrible website that they tried to sell their collector dolls through, and... I'm not going to talk anymore about that because I can feel my blood pressure rising. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to get this doll simply because I literally can't anymore. I did try and I was unsuccessful and I'm still sad about it and I probably will always be sad about it. Let's move on. On the other hand, Haunt Couture Laguna I did not try for. I don't think that there's anything super wrong with her. Like, I don't think that she has a terrible design. I just don't really feel anything, <laughs> especially having already had the experience with Haunt Couture Cleo. Uh, I really wasn't willing to put myself through that and uh, through the stress and the potential sadness afterwards of not getting the doll for a doll that I don't really feel strongly about. So yeah, Laguna, I just skipped out on. Then we have got the Skelector Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein 2-pack. Ironically, this was the only release that I've ever heard of on Mattel Creations as far as Monster High goes that seemed to have gone well. People seem to have had an easier time getting the dolls, having actual people get the dolls instead of scalpers and bots. Um, so that's really cool. I didn't even try just because I've never been a huge Frankenstein fan. Like when I think of classic horror movie monsters, that's just not my favorite. So I didn't really care in that regard. And also, I don't think that the designs are bad per se. I just do think that they are a little plain for my personal taste. I like things to be really over the top and dramatic. And I know that there are a lot of really cool details in these. Like I know uh, Bride of Frankenstein's shoes are really, really cool. But yeah, they just weren't made with me in mind. They were not catering to my personal taste, so I just didn't try to get these. Continuing on with the theme of collectors, Monster High dolls, we have to talk about the Holiday Draculaura. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about the Monster High collector releases and how terrible they typically are. I know a lot of other creators have talked about it. I talked about it on Instagram a little bit. Um, so I guess let me know if you guys want to see a video kind of going over all of the troubles with these or ranting <laughs> and kind of giving you my two cents on it. I can't give you my two cents without ranting. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Halliday Dracula did release, release. And uh, luckily for me, I didn't plan on buying her. I think that she is a beautiful doll. She's got a really cool design and aesthetically, I think she's very pretty. Um, but honestly, I have the, oh God, like 2015 or something Collector Draculaura, the like original one. I'll pop a picture up here. And obviously there's a lot of different things in their design, but I do think that there are some similarities. And for me, I just didn't feel like I needed this Holiday Draculaura. I don't tend to buy holiday dolls anyway, so that probably factored in there. Uh, yeah, I just, I thought she was pretty. I'm really excited for other people if you did manage to get her, but she just wasn't one that I was drawn to. So thankfully I got to avoid the circus that was her release. And because we just can't stop talking about dolls with iffy releases, the last one I think that falls under that umbrella is the Monster High Real Drama dolls. These are like the Wave 1 reproduction dolls, except they have longer hair and they're mostly in black and white with like little pops of color. I just felt okay about these dolls. Like some of them are quite pretty. I think Laguna's nice. But I got the creep productions that I wanted, like the Wave 1 reproductions of Dracula and Laguna. So I didn't feel like I also needed a black and white version of those. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't feel super strongly about them. I know a lot of people really, really love these dolls and they have been sought after. And it's been hard for a lot of people to find them. So I am sorry if you're in that boat. But again, luckily for me this time, these are not dolls that I wanted. So I haven't been through that. So 
All I can say is good luck to you if you do want these. Moving on to slightly more normal Monster High releases. From the initial kind of releases from Gen 3, I didn't end up getting Frankie. Um, there's something wrong with their doll. I don't hate it or anything, but I just don't feel like particularly drawn to it. I also did like their doll that came in the Coffee Break 2-pack with Deuce better than their regular release. So yeah, I just ended up getting that one instead of this one. There are other Frankie dolls that are going to be coming out that I also want. So yeah, this one I just didn't feel super strongly about. The same kind of goes for Deuce, where I got him in the two-pack with Frankie. So while I do like his core doll, I just don't think I like it enough to justify buying another Deuce doll at the moment. I wasn't, like, the most attracted to that one, so I think I'm going to skip for now. Maybe I'll get him on a sale, but not full price. And then from the core lineup, I did not get Gulia, And I know that that's a very controversial thing. I've talked about Gulia on this channel before. I just don't like her. I don't hate her like I don't have anything against her I just don't like the designs I also just don't like zombies so I don't know I feel really bad because I know there are a lot of Ghoulia stands but she's just not for me so I didn't end up purchasing her doll also from kind of the initial set of releases with Monster High Gen 3, they're starting to come out with the budget dolls. I think they're called the Day Out dolls. I know some people have been finding them. I haven't seen any in my area, but like they're on the way. They're rolling out. Uh, these are very similar outfits to Claudine, Dracula, and Frankie's core dolls. They're just kind of like a scaled down version for a slightly more budget doll. And since I already didn't want to get Frankie's doll and I have already bought Dracula and Claudine, I just don't feel like I need these. Then we have all of the Creepover Party dolls, and I've said a thousand and two times on this channel, I just tend to not like sleepover or slumber party themed dolls. They're just not really my favorite. I do think the Draculaura is super cute, and I like her pants a lot, so like maybe if she were on a super sale I would get her, uh, but otherwise I'm just gonna skip out on these, including Twyla, and I feel like that's a more controversial thing to say. I... Never, like, loved Twyla in the original Monster High. Again, I've said this a lot this video. I never hated her, but I just never felt really connected to her. And I don't think that she's changed a lot this generation, so I feel pretty much the exact same about her. So, yeah, I'm just going to skip that one as well. Monster High is also coming out with a car, which... That's fine if you like, you know, play sets. I think it does have some cool design elements to it, but... I almost never buy play sets just because I don't have the room for them and I tend to like display my dolls and then I rarely ever move them so for me a play set isn't the most appealing choice of things to spend my money on uh, so yeah I'm not gonna get the car from there I'm sure you can guess that I'm also not gonna be getting the coffin bean play set again I like a lot of elements to it especially the cat unofficially named Gooby oh my god the little glow in the dark cat is so cute like if I were gonna buy this play set it would only be for that cat which is a ridiculous thing to say, but it is true. Um, thankfully, I have slightly more impulse control than that, so I won't be buying that. And I'm also not going to be buying Claudine's bedroom set. Again, broken record at this point. I just don't usually buy play sets, so while it has some really cool design elements, it is not for me, so I'm not going to get it. I feel like I bought so many dolls from the Monster High Gen 3 rollout, and I still have so many to talk about on this list, which I think just says how many dolls have already released for Monster High in 2022. Like, it is insane that there are already this many dolls to talk about. But I also don't want to get the Dracula Gorganizer doll. I do think the doll herself is really, really cute. I love her makeup and I love her dress, but the Gorganizer itself, I have absolutely no need for. Like, I don't need it or any of the things that come in it. So it's just not a responsible thing for me to buy the doll. Uh, so maybe someday I would get her second hand with just the doll or like if it were again on a really good sale maybe I would get it for just the doll but also that seems kind of wasteful to me and I would feel bad having that amount of thing that I don't want so yeah I'm, I'm probably never gonna end up having this doll unless I get maybe like the nude doll second hand so I can like customize her I don't really know um that's far up in the future <laughs> we're not talking about that for now I'm not getting this doll then there was a six pack. I want to say it was called the Ghoul Spirit six pack, but I could be mixing that up with like previous um, G1 releases of Monster High. I'll put on the screen here if I messed up the name, but it was a six pack that was found at Walmart of all of the characters. Well, not all of the characters, but a lot of the characters from Gen 3 that we've seen so far dressed up in like sporty or like school spirit sort of attire. And I'm not really a sports person, and this just doesn't really cater to me. I think they're cute. They're totally fine. And if you like that sort of thing and are trying to get a bunch of dolls, that's a great way to do it. Um, so I definitely think that this has an audience and someone out there will like it. I mean, 
Obviously, people have already bought it, uh, but it's not for me. And then lastly, we get to talk about a line from Monster High that actually hasn't quite come out yet, but we do have stock photos for, and that is Skultimate Secrets. I actually like a lot of dolls from this line, and it's just like, I almost need Monster High to start doing worse, because even though I've been talking about a lot of dolls that I don't want, again, I've bought a lot of Monster High dolls already from G3, and like, I need to be able to cool it. My wallet needs a break. <laughs> but from Skultimate Secrets, I definitely want Claudine, and I'm thinking I also want Frankie and Lacuna, <laughs> and maybe Draculaura. The only one that I think I actually don't want is Cleo, and that's mostly because I don't like her accessories. I like her main outfit pieces, but I don't like either of the shoes and like any of the other accessories that she comes with. So I feel like it would be hard for me to put together a complete look for her, even though this set does come with extra clothes. So I probably am going to skip out on the Cleo. Otherwise, like I said, I'm definitely going to get Claudine. I guess Frankie... Uh, Laguna and Draculaura are all maybes, but I am leaning towards I'm gonna get them So the only one who technically belongs on this list is gonna be the Cleo from this line And then I did think this video was only gonna be Monster High But then I was going through the photos and I realized that I forgot one brand last video So the ending one to tack on here is Mermaids. They're coming out with a little like color change spot Or maybe they've already come out with it. I don't know. I don't really follow Mermaids that closely uh, Yeah I don't have anything to say, really. I guess I could have just left this out entirely. I feel nothing about it. So yeah, that's going to be all of my thoughts and opinions for today. Hope that wasn't too boring for you guys. I know that I had two of these videos fairly close in a row, but like, there were just so many dolls to talk about. So now we're caught up um, for now. Who knows how long that'll last. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know all of your thoughts and feelings on these dolls in the comments below. If you liked the video, if you could like it, that would be awesome. If you enjoyed and you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should consider because I make new doll content at least twice a week. So like there's plenty to keep you entertained. But yes, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.